I'm Anita Lemon and I'm back with you for a short yoga sequence that emphasizes balance and stability. Let's start our practice in mountain pose. Basic standing pose, pressing those feet down into the earth and right away getting in touch with our breath for the breath will take us from pose to pose during our practice of yoga. Take a big inhale and exhale here. As you do, feel those legs stretch down to the earth. Feel the arms stretch down alongside it. Feel the head and shoulders stretch all the way up to the sky. Take a little inhale and take an exhale once more, softening knees, ankles, and hips. Then finding the length in the legs as you press away in mountain pose. In mountain pose, we're growing right out of the earth. It's as steady as we can get. And after a short warm up, we'll do some very asymmetrical poses, which challenge our balance and stability. Take a big inhale, reach up. On an exhale, release the arms. Once more, a little variation. Stretch this mountain all the way up to the sky. Exhale it, let them come down to the earth again. This time as you inhale up, Turn the palms forward. Here's Hastasana. It's a long lengthening pose, like you're being stretched from the back of your heels all the way up your back through the back of the head and even the back of the palms, back of the hands. There you go. On an exhale, release them down again. This time, let's do a little variation. As you come up, let's take those arms over to the side. You begin to make a curved shape but you're keeping your body facing front. Inhale and exhale here and keep the breath nice and even. The further along we get into our yoga practice today and our warm up series, we're getting more and more into lengthening the breath so that the inhale and the exhale match. Inhale through the center, exhale, find it on the other side. Keep yourself facing forward. Don't let your shoulders roll forward. Don't let the head hang down like so. Keep everything open. Inhale up through center. Let's find it one more time. All the way over. You can get an extra stretch by clasping the hands. You can push the hips off a little further. And now you look like the little shape of the quarter moon. Breathe in and out and keep it nice and even. In our yoga practice, the breath takes us every place. It helps to steady us during the poses. It helps us to change and go to another pose as we inhale and exhale, stretching over, pushing the hips, letting the breath gently equal the inhale and exhale, breathing in and out. and inhale up through center. Exhale, release it all down. I'm going to turn to the side now and show you a forward bend. Stack up those legs again. Inhale those arms up and as you come forward, soften everything as you reach down towards the mat and the earth. A standing forward bend. If the hands don't reach the mat, let them grab onto your shins or let them wrap behind you to give you a little support. You're trying to find length along the back of the legs, length along the spine, so the weight of the head hanging down to the floor assists that. See how even you can keep your breath. Easy inhales, easy exhales. See if every exhale can let you bend a little closer, a little deeper forward fold. Then we release from our standing forward fold to unroll, take the arms up, find our variation on Tadasana one more time, and then add a challenge in chair pose. In chair pose, the arms swing down and forward the hips go back, the knees bend. 
I take a little peek to check out that my knees haven't gone forward of my feet. That's a lot of stress on the knees. I want to push them back. And I want to sit as low as my leg strength will permit me. Stretching the spine long. Making sure that I don't curve over, but that I lengthen out the spine and keep reaching forward. It's not for nothing that the other name for chair pose is awkward pose, right? Releasing the arms. Take them up again one more time to find your stretch. Let's do it a second time. And as you take the hips back, see if you can challenge by maybe hooking the thumbs, drawing the arms alongside, and getting a little longer. So notice that all these first poses that we're doing have us balanced on two feet. We're really sharing the balance between each side of the body. Some of the next poses that we do won't be quite so generous. Let's go down to the mat, taking hands and knees down and finding an all fours position. In the all fours position, we're gonna start with hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath the hip sockets. Let's find a little bit of work for the spine called cat and cow. Take an inhale and as you exhale, curl the hips and the head and upper part of the spine closer together. On an inhale, release and lengthen out in space. Find the curve again. Find your exhale. Use the inhale to lengthen and stretch out, pulling the shoulders away from the ears. I'm also paying special attention to make sure that I don't overdo the curve in the neck so I don't stress it like this. I want to release that and let the head and the neck just be a part of the upper body and not do anything special. Find one more curve of your cat. Inhale. This time when you curve your cat, turn your cat into a tiger. Draw one knee in towards the chest. Really curve it. Release it down. Draw the other knee in. Turn it into a tiger. Nice and fierce. Draw it down. Let's do that again. Exhale. Curve. Draw your tiger in. Then surprise yourself. Reverse it and release it. Again. Curve your tiger in. Reverse as you inhale and release it. Drop it down underneath the hip. Other side. Exhale. Curve. Make like a fierce tiger. Inhale. Release it. Exhale it. Inhale it as you release it. Draw it back down. Find the length in your spine. Take a nice opening of the knees and sit back to release in child's pose, stretching the upper body out. Deepen your inhales and exhales. That's the clue to sustaining yourself in all of these poses especially the challenging ones. When you draw yourself up again, start by tucking those toes. That's a good stretch for the bottom of the feet. Press up into what we call a little bent knee down dog pose. If you push yourself up and stretch the upper body away, get your weight out into the fingers. Walk the dog a little bit by lifting and lowering the heels. Notice that it's my heels that are lifting and lowering, not my hips. When you feel a stretch there, lift both heels, lower them gently. They may reach the mat or they may not. That's okay. You're still trying to lower them towards the mat and the earth. Again, we're in a balanced place but let's find a little asymmetry and challenge our balance and stability. Lift one leg towards the sky. Take a big inhale. Take an exhale. Breathe in again. 
Breathe out again. Take one more breath and descend that leg. Find it on the other side. Press one heel in, press the arms away as you inhale the leg up. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep pressing that weight forward into the hands. Keep opening the shoulders and broadening the back. Use the next exhale to descend that leg. Then lift up over those toes, open the knees a bit, and find your child's pose one more time. Exhale and inhale. Breathe nice and slow here. As you unfold from this place, draw one leg forward. I'm going to draw my right leg forward. As I go forward, I want to find a little balance to begin with, with my knee up over my foot. Then I'm just going to lean forward and find support for my hands, tuck the back toe, and press myself up. When I press myself up, can you see that I'm opening this leg out to the side and turning it out a bit? I'm pressing down on this thigh and lifting my chest away. I'm finding the beginnings of warrior one, warrior pose, a very strengthening pose. Inhale those arms up, reaching them to the sky. Keep lifting the abdominal muscles and broadening the back. Let the breath sustain you as you breathe in and out. Settling into the pose. Release the arms down. Push into that leg. Push yourself up from the mat. Shake out the legs a little bit. And then switch to the other leg. Take the other leg forward. See that you've got the knee over that foot. Get a little support if you need to as you reach this other leg back, a little bit to the side, and open. Crawl up the leg, add the arms into the posture, lift the abdominal muscles and find warrior one. Let the next exhale be the thing that takes you to the mat, breathing out and down. When you're on your knees, let your hands come forward to support you so that you slide forward on your chest. We're going for nose, chin, chest, lifting. There's cobra pose. This is very strengthening for the upper back. So we're pressing palms down, lifting the chest, stretching the legs. Draw yourself down to the mat. Turn the head to the side. Take a breath in and out. Let's repeat that. We need that a lot to keep ourselves upright and keep the head from going forward. Release down on an exhale. One more time, we find child's pose, finding the strength to push the body up and back and releasing to a stretch for the lower back. As you draw yourself up from this release, let's take that leg forward one more time. In this place, we're going to work on a pose to finish up called camel pose. And it's really half a camel. So let's see what it looks like. We'll start with the knee over the ankle joint for support and the other leg behind you. 
lifting the abdominals. I want to use my hands to support my lower back. I'm looking down so that I'm releasing my head and neck and lifting up through the center of the breastbone or the chest. A nice big inhale does that and an exhale takes me back. I'm putting cheekbones up on the ceiling. I'm broadening my chest and my back. I'm keeping my breath nice and even and I'm trying to find balance between these two very different kinds of supports from my leg. Use an exhale to bring yourself forward and release the arms. We can take it a step further by tucking this back toe underneath so I have something to push from, inhaling the arms up, letting that same arm for this leg drop back, and there I am lifting my chest up. Ardha Ustrasana, half a camel. Breathing, nice and easy. Lifting that chest open, some rotation, drawing it all up towards the sky. Let the next exhale draw you down. Bring that leg back, bring the other leg forward. Start with two hands supporting the lower back. Drop the head down on the chest or sternum. Take an inhale as you lift up over the top. Feel very broad across the chest. See if you can make it match the back. The head rolls forward on an exhale. And I challenge myself a little further by tucking that back toe, lifting the arms up to find length, and then letting that arm drop back to my heel, reaching up to the sky with the other arm. Finding a nice deep arch in the back, making the curve in the camel's back. And of course, trying to find my balance in between these two very different kind of supports from my legs. Inhale to exhale it all coming forward. The best part is to finish up in relaxation pose so that you have a chance to let your body absorb the work that you just did, strengthening and stretching. And after all, all these asymmetrical poses that we just worked on are an effort to let our body find balance and stability by bringing things more to the center and finding things closer to the midline. Sort of what we're trying to do in real life out there right now, find balance and stability. So these are some ways you can think about doing it with your body and having that translated to the other things that you do. In other words, we have to find ways to enjoy the wobble. Let yourself absorb all the work that you just did by going down to the mat in relaxation pose. When you go down, allow the legs to roll open and be easy. Find good support under your body, on your back. Stay there for at least five to 10 minutes and enjoy absorbing what you've just done. Let your breath settle in. Open the arms, palms up, You will stay enjoying your relaxation for some more minutes. I'd like to stay down with you, but some
someone has to turn off the camera. See you soon.